Hi, my name is John Schlitt, and I want to tell you about my past. When I graduated from college as a civil engineer, I had two choices, engineering or music. I took music. And I and four other guys started a band called Head East. We did our own album first, and it actually caught on. It was very successful. And because of that, we were able to tour all over the country in every major tour that was happening. It was a success story. It was that musician's dream to be able to go forward and play in front of thousands of people every night. But the problem with that, it was every night. And it got boring. That's right, even a dream can be boring if it happens every day, every day. So I started venturing out and finding out what was going to be fun for the next night. It was beer. It was vodka. After a while, that got boring. Then came cocaine. And the combination of cocaine and booze just about destroyed my life. In fact, to a, a matter of this party band, Head East, having to fire me because I was too much of a partier. That goes to show you I was in bad shape. Make a long story short, it almost killed me. I came this close to suicide. And only the fact that I had a God, his name is Jesus Christ, who was watching over me even back then and had a plan for my life. I became a Christian. And for the next five years, I used my degree. And I thought that was it. I was totally content with that. I thought that God's plan for me was to be an engineer. I had a beautiful family, Christian school for my kids, a great church, a new home, and a great job. I must have the American dream. This must be God's plan. But it wasn't. Shortly after that, Bob Hartman called me. He said, John, would you consider singing for Petra? By this time, I'm a gigantic Petra fan because I watched an amazing band use a music style that I loved singing about a subject that I loved. It totally made sense to me. I couldn't believe that I hadn't done that before. And I just figured it was too late for me because I'd messed up so badly in the secular system. But no, God had better plans. Six months later, I'm singing in Brisbane, Australia in front of about 5,000 people. And for the first time on stage, sober in seven years. For the next 20 years, I watched God work in such amazing ways. He used five of the strangest guys to be a tool through music and through testimony and through talking and through uh, engagements of spreading His Word, watching people being affected in such positive ways.